all I know you love to show off But I never thought that you would take it this far What do I know? Thank you for joining me and sister. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Mm. Now we're here um, in Midtown Manhattan, aren't we? Uh, this is a little lower than Midtown, but I wouldn't call it downtown. Okay, okay. Look, well, near Union Square. Yep, the we're right in Union Square. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so my darling, for anyone that doesn't know, your position is a buyer for Dr. J's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Dr. J's. Um, well, drjs.com is an urban online retailer. and We sell brands like Baby Fed, LRG, Academics, um, Darion, and Kooji. But um, I mainly buy for djpremium.com, which is actually more of still an urban twist, but it's higher and a little more upscale. And has brands such as Missoni, Moschino, Custo Barcelona, the 60, mm -hmm. Diesel, and, you know, a lot more. Fantastic. Um, and it sounds fantastic company to work for. Beautiful offices, by Yeah, way. yeah, really I love, love it here. I love mm -hmm. it here. Very nice. Now, you're a buyer. Yes. Okay, so tell us about being a buyer. Um, basically, I go from showroom to showroom, looking at the collection for the next season, and just kind of, you know, picking out what I think will work for our site, what will be, like, visually pleasing, and, you know, just basically what will blow out for mm -hmm. us. That's fantastic. So, in other words, you get paid to shop. Basically, get paid to shop, yeah. You love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, really, it's about predicting the trends? Yeah, pretty much, you know, it's there's a science to it, but with us, initially, I think a lot of the buyers, it's more of an art, you know, you're just going off of what you really feel strongly about, and then when you start to see things, you know, doing better than others, you kind of get it down to a science as far as, oh, these are the numbers you need to make, and this is what's going to sell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how's it all tracked? It's purely on who buys online, and then... Yeah, we have like, you know, different reports that we can run and so we can see what's selling out and how many days and what at what margin. Mm -hmm. So with that, that's how we know, like, do we need to reorder something or maybe we don't want to buy that anymore and that's how we kind of figure out our open and buy. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, you're only 25. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. How do you go from grad school to 25 in such a short window? being a top buyer for I actually didn't go to grad school. You mean undergrad? Undergrad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, basically what I did was I graduated mm -hmm. and I was at home kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to get in fashion, but my parents were kind of against it because like, what career can you, you know, get out of that? So I didn't have any experience. I came out here and interned for about, I would say three months. It wasn't very long, but I worked for free. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a great experience. And I thought I wanted to design, and from that I figured out that I didn't. So <laughs> from there I went to J. Crew and worked as a production assistant um, mm -hmm. for a while. And you know, in my mind, it was just I need to get experience, I need to get experience. It doesn't matter what I do, just yes. I need to build my resume. Mm -hmm. So I stayed there for quite a while and um, decided that I just wanted to do something a little more exciting. So I went into another internship with City Magazine. Okay. And there I was a photo intern, but she knew I was more into fashion, so she allowed me to kind of, you know, work with the stylist and assist on the shoots. And they loved me so much that they were like, you know, we can't offer you a job, but we can't put you on the mass head as a fashion assistant. Oh, brilliant. And with that, it just made me a lot more marketable and opened up more doors. And then I landed a job at Seventeen Magazine as Ooh. a fashion assistant. Seventeen Magazine, now that's good. Yes, mm. that, was a, that was a great, great opportunity mm -hmm. for me. Mm. And, and, and for you... Part of your job is marketing. Mm -hmm. So how do you begin to market the brand drjays.com? Um, well, first and foremost, I think when you're doing marketing, you need to be a brand ambassador yourself. So I definitely try to, you know, incorporate things into my wardrobe that maybe people ask about and kind of just do the whole word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I also, like, you know, try to advertise on blogs just because, you know, I think they're kind of the future. I think Absolutely. people are referring to them for advice on, you know, what they referred to magazines, you know, mm -hmm. more so back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, but a big part for us is definitely email marketing. And so with that, I just really try to do, you know, people love a great sale, you know. Um, <laughs> yes, <thank> you. <laughs> people love for you to show them how something can be worn. Yes. So little things like that or, you know, trying to co-sponsor events, which is something I want to work a little bit more on. Okay. And then um, 
just kind of making more awareness in different countries outside of the U.S. Mm -hmm. So penetrating other markets. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you'll be in the U.K. soon. Yeah, well, we actually do ship to the U.K. Mm -hmm. Both sites do, um, but I would like to do some marketing yeah. in the U.K. just to bring more awareness. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, when a young person comes into an interview in front of you, mm -hmm. one of the key things that you look for that would make you want to hire them or, or not take them on? Um... One key thing for me is how they're dressed. It's not necessarily if they're the best dresser, but if they're, you know, professional.